Hi, I'm Scott Hetrick. What's new on Blue this week? How about a double dose of Batman beginning with an elaborate limited edition gift set of Batman Begins and tied more specifically to the July 18th release of The Dark Knight, the new DC Universe Warner Premier animated original movie, Batman Gotham Knight. In addition to all the behind the scenes bonus features on Batman Begins, you also get what they call an in-movie experience, which is essentially filmmaker audio commentary presented in video in picture in picture running throughout the movie. And there's also the five and a half minute opening scene from the upcoming Dark Knight movie that's been showing exclusively in IMAX theaters. And then, if you get the limited edition gift set, you get this amazing array of goodies, beginning with a full color mini graphic novel of that same prologue from The Dark Knight, a full color 36 page booklet with the storyboards and photos from The Dark Knight, five collectible color cards from Batman Begins, a 3D lenticular from Batman Begins, and a coupon for $7.50 off on the purchase of a ticket to see The Dark Knight. Similar to the Animatrix DVD, Batman Gotham Knight features six different artistic interpretations of the evolution of Batman as crime fighter to the Dark Knight in 10 to 12 minute animated segments from six different writers and six different directors. Batman. No, you won't. I have a gunshot victim, severe bleeding in the shoulder. He needs assistance. Yeah. Give me your hand. I can't. Among the many bonus features is a fascinating 38-minute documentary profile of Batman creator Bob Kane. So I went home that weekend and I thought of Leonardo da Vinci's flying machine. I made some crude sketches, brought them in on a Monday, and he said, see, I love it. What do you call it? Call it the Bat hyphenated man. Another feature at examining the villains of Gotham City. Classical heroes are defined by their villains. <laughs> Audio commentary, four bonus episodes of various animated Batman TV series. Are you all right, sir? I'm tired, Alfred. And a sneak peek at the new Wonder Woman original animated movie coming to Blu-ray in 2009. I'm gonna take of all Wonder Woman things the invisible jet. There were some aspects of being a, a tough woman that I thought I could bring to it. The great thing about playing villains is actually that it's very liberating. I wanted to play Hippolyta because I could be the queen. <laughs> That's what's new on Blue this week. I'm Scott Hetrick. See you next time. <laughs>